everyone, welcome to a little bit of an old school vi style video. I mean, not that old school, but yeah, I went through the Discord channel, I saw the submissions tab, and I picked out a couple of videos that I wanted to make reactions to. Well, that I wanted that you guys wanted me to make reaction videos to. Yeah, I have a couple of a couple of them picked out, and today we are going to be reacting to Hydro Power to the People, the fight against Bosnia and Herzegovina's hydroelectric dams we have a bunch of rivers a bunch of not a bunch of rivers so we have a lot of rivers and very big ones a lot of water in bosnia and herzegovina it's like uh, one of our i would say our country's biggest resources super nice nature and then there is a bunch of corrupt um, politicians who think that they can basically destroy all the rivers because they already you know destroy basically everything else in the country um so they now try to get to the nature part of things and uh you know grab some extra cash from rivers by completely damming them off, destroying like uh, wildlife, etc, etc. So today we're going to see how the people of Bosnia and Herzegovina responded, what they think, and um, how in general nature is treated, or what kind of place nature gets in the uh, within society of Bosnia and Herzegovina. The video is from Euronews. I'm not a fan of, of like any news reporting channels, but yeah, let's take a look. Um, and it has 1.8k views. Not a lot, but... Ah, let's see. Let's see. Unreported Europe. The development of hydroelectric dams in the Western Balkans is creating a flood of debate. For some, infrastructure like this Tito-era barrage built 50 years ago represents a model for future green energy production. Imagine, we already had built stuff like this 50 years ago, but on a large scale, on a couple of places, and that's it. So it's not... Nothing that disrupted like the wildlife or destroyed anything regarding the existing nature. But for others, such projects, both big and small, are the focus of contention and outcry. Bosnia and Herzegovina, Bosnia and Herzegovina depends on dirty coal. Hydroelectricity is a cleaner alternative, but there are protests against dams and barrages. We are going to find out why. All right, some German reporter just dubbed into English. We begin with this hydropower project on the Trebišnica River. It was long left half completed. Only what's called the Lower Horizons was finished. But now the so-called Upper Horizons part has been given the green light for construction. This has caused deep dismay at Hutovo Blato, one of the richest wetland reserves in Europe. I've been here. You can actually... Um, Hire a boat tour for like 20, 25 marks. Really recommend it. So if you're uh, in Basel and Herzegovina, you should check this out for sure. Protected site, home to more than 240 types of migratory bird. Zoran Mataliak heads the Adriatic Freshwater Division of the World Wildlife Fund. He takes us on a boat trip to the heart of Hutovo Blato. Water is taken away from uh, Hutovo Blato for uh, electricity uh, generation. This amount of water that we have right now, it's a just half that is needed to support this sensitive ecosystem. This is a one of last resort of Mediterranean wetlands. And this is uh, under threat because of uh, works that are going on on the Upper Horizons project. In that case, this area is uh, dead in uh, 30 years. No, uh, I think even sooner because, I mean, it's already like it naturally dried out over the last couple of decades, basically. So that's why he says there's like only half of what was needed to actually support like the natural the natural life living there. Um, uh, the wildlife adjusted, so it kind of survives right now. And then, yeah, now they just want to fucking drain the rest of it for uh, hydroelectricity. Like, who just who comes up with this shit? Like, for real. To see the debate from the other side, we went to see preliminary construction works carried out in the Dabar Dam project on the Upper Horizon site. The complex network of channels, tunnels, pipelines, artificial lakes and power stations will cost some 200 million euros. Jelko Zubac, director of the Dabar project, meets his team. We are here in this position, we have to finish this zone. Yes, this part. This part. Uh, it's a 12 kilometer long uh, tunnel which have main goal to transfer the, uh, waters from this catchment area to the power plant Dabar. The site is located in Republika Srpska, 
one of the two entities of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Yep, and the problem with all of this is that the corrupt bastard uh, which is running Republika Srpska is uh, Mr. Dodik. And um, he basically, Republika Srpska is a part of Bosnia and Herzegovina, it's just a region. And um, he thinks it's more than that, and he tries to, you know, call it its own state or its own country, with him, of course, being the head of it, which is not the case. It's still part of Bosnia and Herzegovina. And this guy came up with the great idea that everything like forests, uh, waters, rivers, and everything which is located in the borders of this region, of R uh, the RS, the known RS, Republika Srpska, um, that it belongs to that region and that they can do with it whatever they want um, without consolidating the federal level, the national level of, um, yeah, how do you say it, um, government, etc. Because, uh, and basically it's against the law what he did. So don't quote me on this one, but as far as I know, um, and this project and other projects that he uh, allegedly wanted to start or actually started were all shut down be, uh, because of the international community and because of the national level of government who says that uh, he didn't have any single right or permission to build these things. Um, and actually they banned the construction of um, these uh, uh, types of uh, uh, hydroelectric dams uh, also smaller ones and only bigger ones but also smaller ones um across i think like 80 percent if not the entire territory of bosnia and herzegovina <laughs> just another example why why this guy this this uh, i can't even take this guy serious why this dodic guy just needs to to piss off this cowboy within Bosnia and Herzegovina doing whatever the fuck he wants, even if it's against the law. They basically just launder money to this project. They say it's gonna cost 200 million, and instead it costs 100 million, and then they scam like Chinese and Russian investors and put 100 million in their own pockets, and then the project itself is gonna be built for 100 million, takes 20 times more time than it should, and then they're gonna ask for more money, and that's basically how it works. The, the big scam of, um, yeah, the politicians who are in... Uh, in power in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Um, as of right now, soon it's gonna change. I mean, the elections have been already in, there's a, a big power shift happening, but I might make a separate video on that. Sources tell us that politicians have placed supporters within the Dabar company. The European Bank for Reconstruction and Development refused to back the project while companies from Russia, Turkey, France, and Germany have pulled out. There you go. European bank already uh, didn't want to invest in it and all the other countries pulled out. Only Russia and China are going to support this just as, uh, yeah, the nasty buggers they are. China stayed. There you go. China. Very important and a huge argument for the, the building of Upper Horizons is to make the clean energy. No, it's to fill the pockets of corrupt people within... Uh, uh, in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and in this case, uh, to fill Dodik's pockets, and probably also this guy's pockets. Because uh, the Bosnia and Herzegovina have a lot of water resources, and uh... yeah, so because we have a lot of water resources, we should destroy the entire ecosystem and wildlife to make a bit of green energy, while we have one million other problems to take to take well to take care of first. The clean green energy is our main goal with the building of this power plant. The bullshit. war in Yugoslavia halted the Upper Horizons plans. Later on, the project ran out. Yes, for a reason. <laughs> of money. Today, negotiations with Beijing are ongoing. If the contracts are signed, the Dabar project could be completed in about four years. Also, one of the things that's funny, they uh, continued construction of based upon an old plan that was made during uh, Yugoslavia's time. And there's now so much more better technology and newer stuff that you could build. So basically, it stood there for too long to be um, used in the most efficient way. So they're basically constructing uh, an old plan via old, uh, well, using old technology, which of course is not going to benefit the country to its fullest potential. And especially in this case, where it's going to destroy a bunch of wildlife. So um, just, oh my God, this is such a mess. It just pisses me off when I see this kind of stuff. Construction manager Nenad Klatcha envisions a remodeled landscape with the karst plains and mountain valleys being cultivated by farmers. In winter, during a six-month period of heavy rains, this field is flooded by water from different sources such as underground springs, and so it cannot be used properly for agriculture by the owners. But this will change when we redirect the water. 
The Upper Horizons project will drain the water. Yeah, because uh, all the people are just jumping in a row and waiting to cultivate farmlands and stuff in the middle of nowhere. With no proper infrastructure leading to it, no anything, nothing nearby. Yeah, that's what the people of Bosnia really want, to farm. ...to the power stations. The limestone cast works like a sponge. A multitude of sinkholes and communicating pipes have created a labyrinth system of underground rivers. So will this project take away water from the protected wetlands of Hutovo Blato? The project director says no. This is not the catchment area of Neretva River, and the Hutovo Blato doesn't belong to this catchment area. Yeah, says the guy who's making millions of this project. Environmentalists disagree. There are underground connections between the Dabar Valley and Hutovo Blato, says Zorian Matilia. Closing those sinkholes in the karstic rocks would interrupt the wetlands water supply. This is the, the last chance to save this fantastic place. We need five cubic meters per second in summer time. These five cubic meters are under threat because of Upper Horizons project. Any additional diversion of, of water would kill this place. The spring at Buna is... Definitely recommend visiting this place. It's Buna, the spring or the source of the Neretva River. It's amazing. You can have a very nice dinners and the restaurant uh, right next to it. It's out of the shot. And you can even go into the cave with a boat rivers and channels and has water flows of 40,000 litres a second. There are fears the spring could suffer from upper horizons. We had a chat with local boatsman Harris Yusarevich. It's better for the river not to build it. And of course for the people working on the river, but definitely first point is protect the river. Here in the town of Konyich, the battles are being fought over small hydroelectric projects instead. Campaigner Amir Vasicic is angry about the dozens of tributary creeks that were diverted to... Look at that, dried out, dead. And once it flowed, or there, flo there was a creek or at least a nice flowing river beneath all of that. ...feed the hundreds of small hydroelectric plants mushrooming across the Bosnian landscape. Our drone is able to secretly film the consequences of one such diversion. Secretly film? What the hell? You can just film and fly the drone wherever the hell you want in Bosnia. The problem is the two hydropower plants. They block fish migration. The fish cannot move upstream. There's no free river flow because the water is directed into pipes. The reason why fish, in particular trout, are threatened in this small river here is the dry waterbed. The hydroelectric company only releases 10% of the river water, so it can't flow freely meaning the fish cannot swim upstream to their spawning grounds. When the people of the village of Parsovici learned that their river was also threatened, they mobilized to stop the building of 15 hydropower plants along the Nedetvica Creek. When the machines arrived, the villagers blocked the access roads. Yep, this was like big in the news and uh, bands coming up to play music for them as they were protesting. Uh, it was amazing to see people def stepping up like we accept a lot of bullshit in Bosnia and Herzegovina as people from like from politicians and whatever things are that are going on which again don't like or approve for the people but I'm am kind of proud that we some somehow do draw a line when it comes to nature and say hey you cannot do that especially when it comes to rivers and forests and that kind of stuff. Result, the regional parliament banned the construction of small power plants. We don't want to give our river away. The water for the river is really important for making a living in a rural community such as ours. 5,000 people depend on the river. The battle continues and we will carry on fighting until the very end, even if we have to die for our river. That's how protective people are of nature and their land in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And when they say they would die for the land, they will. They trust me, they will. These are not people just bluffing away and saying, "Oh yeah, well, you're going, yeah, I will give my life for it." No, they actually would give their life for this kind of stuff because they are proud of these things.
Local elections are coming up this autumn in Bosnia and Herzegovina. As the debate ebbs and flows, politicians appear increasingly likely to pour cold water on smaller hydroelectric power plants and turn towards larger scale projects instead. Amazing. Elections in the meantime have been already and yes, they banned, I think, the construction of all the small ones uh, throughout the country. But don't quote me on that. I didn't check that for sure, but I know that I've read something regarding that. So that's... Um... Alexa, shut up. The hell? Cool video. I would say it... Uh... Uh, they did a great job in reporting uh, they did a great job with the with the images they shot they went to all the most important places to make this a compelling story and a complete story so um yeah props to euro news for actually making a good uh, good video on that even though it's already two years old i don't mind i don't care it's just uh, compliments to them for uh, for making this and of course any kind of report on what's going on in bosnia from um, a factual side of things i support 100 percent so um i hope you guys liked the video if you did leave a like down below um if you have another video that i should react to link for the discord channel is in the description down below you join it it's for free and then there is a your submissions box where you can send in videos that you want me to react to doesn't only have to be regarding buzz in yugoslavia and that kind of stuff i know you guys send that in a lot but it can be literally anything so um yeah i hope you like it and i see you in the next one ciao perfect <laughs>